Hey guys, how's it going? John here from Unbeatable Tech. Welcome to the video. In this video, I want to answer the question I've already seen in Facebook popping up about the new Thrivecart Learn platform, specifically Thrivecart Learn versus Thrive Apprentice. Two platforms that help you launch online courses that start with the word Thrive. Different companies, same goal. Which one is better for you, the course creator? Let's dive into it here. We'll first cover the pros and cons of each platform individually. And then we'll compare them together, look at the pricing, and I'll give you my personal opinion. Why should you listen to me about this? Well, I have done a ton of content on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like if you like this on Thrive Apprentice, as well as Thrive Cart prior to the Learn Platform's release. I've shown you exactly how to hook them up. I told you a while back that I love the integration between Thrive Cart selling and Thrive Apprentice for the online course delivery platform, but each platform was incomplete. Thrivecart could not do the fulfillment of the courses. Thrive Apprentice could not do the selling of the courses. So you needed both before. Now, Thrivecart has the opportunity to be an all-in-one. We'll see if it's any good. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, first let's cover the pros and cons of Thrivecart Learn. So on the pros, it is extremely fast to build online courses. It is just faster than the WordPress side. There's less loading. The interface works super quick and it's a new platform. So we'll see as more users flock to it, but right now super speedy. Number two, it's great at sales funnel functionality, setting up a sales page inside of Thrivecart using their one page funnel templates, which I have in my bonuses down below, but hint, hint, you can bring in some really good looking sales page templates and their page builder is expanding all the time. So that is excellent. Having upsells and downsells and split testing built in is a marketer's dream. They also have a direct integration with uh, Facebook for their conversion API. If you're a geek like me and like to have good, clean data. Next is you can start for free, assuming you are already a Thrivecart customer. This is a free upgrade. If you are even on the standard plan for Thrivecart, you have access to learn right now. And also I love that already on day one, Thrivecart Learn has pretty advanced and powerful drip functionality where you can drip out a lesson day, week, month, year at a time, or a module day, week, month, year at a time and customize on a lesson by lesson basis. And the interface couldn't be simpler. That's pretty cool. That's a con right now on the Thrive Apprentice side. On the cons here for Thrivecart Learn is it does not include video hosting. It's a software as a service, but you're in charge of deciding how you host and secure your videos, whether that be Amazon S3 or YouTube videos for free, or Vimeo or Wistia or any other solution out there, it's on you. But again, same for Thrive Apprentice. Next is there's no quiz functionality yet, but they have already listed it as a coming soon on their page. So I'm sure there's going to be something that they bring in. And next is customization is manual and not template driven. What I mean by that is you can do just about whatever you want to on the lesson page. You can change the background color, have buttons, have all kinds of cool stuff, embed videos, FAQs, all that cool stuff. But then for the next lesson, you need to like clone it and do it again. Um, so that is a bit of a struggle. Whereas Thrive Apprentice, that's one of their like claims to fame is it is the best looking learning management system platform out there, I think right now. All right. So let's dive into that. Thrive Apprentice, the pros here, it's familiar for if you're a Thrive Suite user already, if you're used to Thrive Architect for your landing pages or Thrive Optimize to do your A-B testing or Thrive Leads to collect your leads, it's pretty familiar there, which we all like that. Next is the full visual theme builder editing. So in the same way, when like Elementor was the first theme builder I played with, when they came out with that, I was like, oh my gosh, I can make my website look however I wanted to. Then Thrive theme builder came out and like revolutionized the game even further. Now Thrive Apprentice brings the same drag and drop customization for how your courses look, your index page looks, your lesson page looks, all that stuff is like fully in your control, which is super cool. Um, and then the other pro is you can use other selling platforms like WooCommerce, Wishlist Member, Thrivecart as an example, to sell access to your Thrive Apprentice the courses. This is a big one, right? Like if you ever wanted to mix and match, this is like the double-edged sword of all-in-one platforms, which Thrivecart is kind of nudging in that direction, is that yes, within its own little ecosystem, it works beautifully. Today, I don't think anything integrates in. If you happen to have a website with a cart flows funnel or a click funnels page, whatever, I don't know why you'd use that, but let's say you do, there's nothing that's going to talk to thrive learn. So you are kind of locking yourself into that ecosystem. Just to be aware, um, on the con side, 
Thrive Themes inside the WordPress world and uses kind of like a custom interface, which is prettier and is nice to work with, but it doesn't really play well with others. And integrations with Thrive Suite and the rest of the Thrive of the WordPress world has been a little bit not fantastic. They're working on that with their Thrive Automator plugin, which is a topic for another video. Number two, uh, WordPress management in general. We're talking here about caching plugins. Is your upsell page going to cache correctly with your WordPress page? And is the API going to connect? I do this stuff professionally, and sometimes I'll have to scratch my head and think, why are my courses not correctly linking up with my website and going through updating PHP, stuff like that. If hearing that gives you like the heebie-jeebies, Thrive Learn is going to be a pretty cool option for you. Next, also no video hosting, same deal. Don't need to talk about that because it's on both sides. Similarly, no quiz functionality. Thrive Apprentice does have the quiz builder, which is a separate product, but that's really more on like a, a marketing quiz, not an actual student learning for comprehension quiz functionality. Um, drip functionality also on Thrive Apprentice is, I, I believe, still missing. I know it's coming soon. So maybe when the, you watch this video, they might already have drip functionality, but I don't know how it works yet. So I really do like the dripping functionality of Thrive Learn. Uh, and then lastly, there's just more setup required. You have to actually create your login page and design it and actually have the workflow of what happens when they log in. And you have to try to make sure that they don't log into the back end of the WordPress dashboard. And then how do you hide the little black bar up top? In the WordPress world, it's a tinkerer's paradise. I get stuck in it a lot because I like that stuff, but I was literally up and running, no setting up email sending, reputations or anything like that. I was up and running with Thrivecart Learn in like 15 minutes, no joke. And the emails were sending, course access was set up and it was sweet. So I like that a lot. All right, so let's move on to pricing here. So pricing on the Thrivecart side is pretty simple. It's a one-time fee to get into Thrivecart if you're not a customer at all. It's $4.95 to get their standard plan. And there will be more information down below what all that includes. And I, I do recommend, we personally have the pro upgrade that gives us the affiliate management system, which I think is really, really good. And uh, a lot of other good benefits. So that's a $1.95 optional upgrade on top of that for Thrivecart. But you can get it at $4.95 and have access to the Learn platform completely free. That gives you some limitations. You can't import students in. So let's say you have a thousand students in a different online course platform like Teachable, you can export those students out, but if you want to import them in and have them restart right where they left off, you would need to have that um, 195 upgrade for Learn Plus, all right? So the range of pricing here is between 495 if you do standard and the free version here, or 885 if you want all the bells and whistles for life. Thrive Apprentice, very simple. It is a component of their Thrive membership, their Thrive suite, they're calling it which is currently $228 per year. I think that is still one of the absolute best values, bar none, in, um, in the, the WordPress building space. Like the, the tools they offer for that price is fantastic. No joke. So it would take you about three years to kind of break even here. But again, that's not exactly a fair comparison because you still need to sell your stuff on Thrive Apprentice. And you could use the free WooCommerce and set that up, but it wouldn't necessarily be my recommendation. I would still probably want to combine Thrivecart with Thrive Apprentice if you wanted to go that way. So John, a lot of stuff I just threw at you. What is my personal takeaway as somebody who knows, likes, and trusts both of these companies and these tools? Here's my opinion. I think Thrivecart Learn is simpler and is more straightforward. Thrive Apprentice has more design flexibility, has more flexibility in general, right? but it's also more work to set up and maintain, and you still need something to sell with as you're you know, already. So it, it's up to you which one you go. If you already have stuff built out with Thrive Apprentice, I don't see any reason to migrate it all over to Thrivecart Learn. If you have a really tricky platform that you're not super happy with, or maybe it's buggy, or if you've had issues with plugin conflicts on Thrive Apprentice, then yeah, I think that Thrivecart Learn is a really awesome and Super valid option at this point. Again, this is a brand new platform. Um, things can change, but from what I've seen, you know, we've sold over a million dollars on Thrivecart through our main brand, and we haven't had crazy issues with it. Like if there are issues, it tends to be issues on the integration side to another platform, not necessarily Thrivecart itself when it comes to like taking payments and doing its thing. So I trust in the team that's behind that software and they've served us well for a long time now. And then lastly here, 
if this sounds interesting and if you are wanting to try out Thrivecart Learn, you can go to my affiliate link or the, my bonus page here, which is unbeatabletech.com slash Thrivecart bonus. And you can see some of the templates, some of the trainings, membership access, as well as a bit more access to me as you're getting started for 30 days. Learn about that by going to that link. And I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these you're leaning towards. Are you already using Thrive Apprentice? And if so, would you consider moving over or not? I'd like to know. Talk to you later.